You cannot blame one side for a two-sided problem. We are killing some babies. So let me clear. Yes, no, right? let me ask you. So what can I tell you about anything? What is it like being an Israeli professor this year? Well, you went for the jugular. For the past eight months, it's been impossible to teach. I saw a video about the Columbia protest. Yes. Investigation into his advocacy for Jewish and Israeli students. Waking up realizing that there are many people who not only don't believe in coexistence, but don't believe in my existence. I'm going to give you an A. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Have a seat, man. Ask me anything. What's your opinion about the conflict yeah. nowadays? It sucks. You have innocent people dying from the Israeli side and the Palestinian. Side. Most Israelis don't want war. For me, the question is, why are we in this situation? It's heartbreaking. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, man. You got an A. Congratulations. So I don't see how this war is going to stop Hamas. That war not claims. over. You cannot judge a process while it's ongoing. Mm -hmm. I hope that the war ends as fast as possible. We all know what needs to happen for the war to end. Two things. The least of 120 hostages. Put down your arms. The war is done tomorrow. That's never gonna happen. We're gonna I teach like negotiation. I believe when the leverage is high enough, it does happen. My theory is Hamas is not putting down their weapon because American college students. They see this mass protest that are not pro-Palestinian, but they're anti-Israel. You can criticize the government, but that's not what we're seeing. We're seeing calls for the elimination of the state of Israel. Yeah, yeah. If Hamas sees this happening all over the world, of course they're not gonna put up their weapons. They believe that they are winning. We are killing some babies! Nobody in their right mind would be happy about casualties of war. Children in World War II were casualties of war. And we need to understand why those casualties of war exist. Whose fault is it? The terrorists hide within civilian population. Alright, then I must be wrong. How can a country like Palestine have a democratically elected government when they are not receiving the education? Ideally, education is the only way forward. But for some people, they don't want to learn. When you have people shooting rockets at you, you have to say, you know what? We're going to stop that problem first. I agree, but don't you think that they would be capable of tracing who the Hamas terrorists were. I think it's very hard to get 40,000 terrorists that are hiding in tunnels. They have more tunnels than the uh, New York City subway system. What Wait. efforts are being made to solve this divide? Isn't the terrorists You'll have killed? to let me answer. If there are discrepancies... I'm giving you a D because you're not willing to listen. What? How is Israel creating the opportunity for a Palestinian democratically elected representative? Here's where you lost me. Why is Israel responsible for that? I don't treat Palestinians as children. There has been no prominent person of leader in the Palestinian side who said, let's go for a two-state. I can agree with that. You support a two-state solution. I 100%, not just morally, but also pragmatically. What we're seeing around the country is a fight for a one-state solution that doesn't include Israel. But if you and I start a movement that is against Hamas, against terrorism, but pro-Israel and pro-Palestine, I believe most of these protesters will throw a waiver from the river to the seas for globalizing Intifada and march with us. I can agree with that. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for a conversation. That's the most important thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to give you an A, not a B. Thank you. Yeah. Today I had a conversation. We should all be having conversations. We cannot keep shouting over each other. That's not how we're going to solve anything. Thank you, everyone.